friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and you are at the home of the Forever Theater Kids. Yes, you. You who love musical theater and can't stop singing your show tunes. You who were in one production of Oklahoma one time in high school, but like you decided to become an accountant but like you've always like remember that time. You who has been on cruise ships and have seen the performers and have gone, what is that life like? Hi, I'm Emily, welcome. I'm here to tell you all about it. In today's video, I'm super, super excited because I am giving you some cruise ship life on a very specific experience that I had on a cruise ship. And I think it can connect to a lot of people and I think it can connect to a lot of performers, especially people who are interested in swing, alternative, understudy work. If that is something that interests you, please make sure to watch this whole video. It's a bit, it's a shorter one. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Things are crazy right now, but I'm trying to bring you some content that might just give you a little bit of information. Maybe things, I who knows where the cruise industry is gonna go after COVID finally leaves us, things really start up again. But obviously the world is going to be a very, very different place as it is already a very, very dis different place, rightfully so, as it should be. Editing Emily here, just to say, um, before going any further, I wanted to make it clear that there are still cruise ship members, many thousands of cruise ship members, uh, that are still stuck at sea due to COVID related reasons. They haven't been allowed to go home to their home countries because of travel restrictions. They're not allowed on American soil. So going to this video, I just want you to take into account that there are people that are still stuck and away from their families and sick. And as of June, like 14th, there were still 40,000 crew members still stuck at sea among various companies. And a lot of these people are suffering from mental stress and not getting paid and it infuriates me. So um, I'm gonna leave any information that I have for that down below. I hope this video brings you some happiness, but I also want you to keep that in the back of your mind that there's still people that are still stuck at sea and cannot see their families and live in pretty crappy conditions. So putting that in your mind. I kid you not, I have filmed this intro for this video two other times. Like the first time I did it was over a year ago and the second time I filmed the intro it was in the winter so about six months so it seems like every six months I film this intro. I don't know why I just keep putting off this video and putting off this video but it, it's content that like I think can be helpful and be really interesting from an outsider's perspective. I know I'd be looking it up if it was something that I was like hmm what's that like? This was on my last contract so over a year ago now. In our cast we had four singer dancers and four dancer singers. All of the dance solos and the big dance moments are covered if someone goes down or out during a show or is sick or has to leave or whatever the circumstances are those dancers really cover up the main like duets or the duets are taken out or a, a lot of things adjust and are shifted on stage when you're a singer it's a little bit more complicated in terms of a reblock because it's not always available to get the other singer to cover the song because of different tracking moments. It depends on the show, it depends on the ability of the cast, it depends on a lot of different outside factors and what your cast manager deems appropriate. In our circumstance, the other female singer was ill with the flu, I think. It was on my shoulders to really cover all of her musical track. In terms of our voices, we both would have been able to cover each other's things. So throughout the entire contract, we would be asking each other questions about songs, getting each other, getting advice, asking about breath control and stuff like that. Really thinking about plan Bs and plan Cs and plan Ds in case either of us had ever gone down, which was really nice because a lot of singers get very like, ugh, like on guard and touchy about their music. I, I got really lucky. Every Every cast I was in, I always had a wonderful like female partner singer where we would always be open with talking to each other about how would we keep the show going if something were to happen to either one of us. It was always good to feel like we had each other, like we always had each other's backs. I never felt like I was gonna be left by, by my lonesome with my other female singers. I got very lucky. I know not a lot of people have that experience. My girl Juanita, my girl Melissa. 
my girl Ingrid, my girl Kirsty, every single one of them. We always had each other's backs. I hope they know that I always had their back too. So yeah, swing life, I have, I don't have experience outside of cruise ships doing swing work, but the experience that I had was very, very fast paced. I, I was very lucky in that I had known the show that I did. I had known the show very, very well. I had done it for over a year already. So I knew all the music pretty much and I knew the basic like motions and where I needed to go. Honestly, if it had been another show, if it had been a show that I'd never done before, we would have been in a different situation. I would have been far more stressed. But I think in this video, I'm a very proper amount of stressed. I am a normal amount of anxious. So I hope that this gives you some insight to a relatively calm day in the life of a cruise ship singer who has to be put in for swing work. Go back in time. Hey friends. I'm in the shower and that's exciting for you, I'm sure. Today is a hectic day because today I'm swinging in. So I'm gonna vlog uh, if I don't get too stressed. My other singer, my good friend Kirsty, Chris Jane Aston, follow her on Insta, she's amazing. She's really sick with the flu, so I have to, well all of us are stepping in to cover her tracks, but it's mainly me stepping in and taking over her songs. Let's do 80s pop to the max, swing style. Hopefully I have a voice at the end of the night. Here's to Kirsty feeling better. Let's see if I can do this because I wanna do this on Broadway, so. Today's draining day one. Alrighty, so we just did a bit of a costume fitting. These are all the costumes. This is Michael. Michael is our seamster. We didn't have to really change any of the costumes, but we're I'm underdressing them for my life tonight. I'm vlogging my day of being a swing. Okay, so we figured out the costumes. They all fit, which is really good because Kirstie and I are pretty much the same body type. We both got booties. Now is just trying to figure out where I have to make the changes that also make sense with my track and also um, how to preset my costumes tonight, which is a bit of a mind. What I'm doing now. It's like only, it's only 2.30 and we have a reblock at 3.15, 3.45, 3.15. I'm just getting, starting to get my head right because I pretty much know all the music, but it's like, it's, it's like, putting a puzzle together and how it works for me so I can still do what I normally do in the show. For the most part, I'm out of some of the dance numbers, which is good, so I can breathe. Imagine that. I've always wanted to wear this costume. <laughs> Cause my friend Ingrid told me my opening costume on my last contract was really ugly, which I disagree with. But now I get the best of both worlds. It's exciting swinging. I think what's most exciting for me is that I have to challenge myself to think differently for a show that I've been doing for a really long time. It's a good mental challenge. And girl, manifesting, I'm gonna be on Broadway as the female swing for Mean Girls. So I'm just manifesting it and working on it tonight. I just don't know where some of these changes happen. Just don't know. things happen? <sighs> it's my side of stage changes that are really hard. <laughs> You're literally seeing my brain dissolve. Cause buddy, you something ain't right. My best friend told me what you did last night. <sighs> breathe, breathe, young lady, breathe. All right. So after 10 brains, ten years. We in 10 years, we figured out how to do the hairstyle that our girl Kirsty does. I don't have as much hair as Kirsty. In your own unique way. Yes. This is taking off 10 years of my life. <sighs> Guys, we just had the rehearsal. It's a lot. But all my, all my, all my friends are killing it. My girls are helping me so much. Woo! She's got this. It's running, it's going. For Kirsty. For Kirsty. Love you guys. Hate to be Kirsty right Hate now. Hate to be Kirsty right now. Ashley and Emily. And me. So I'm out of a couple numbers, but the numbers that I am in and the changes that I am in are nuts. So wish me luck. Here goes the dry run. Bit of sound check. Do you want me to put on pants? I mean, if you want to. Too late. He's in his underwear. Yeah, dance with somebody would be good.
Okay, so I'm just about to have a little bit of a warm up. All ready for the show. Sound checked, sang through all the new songs I'll be singing tonight. I'm a little nervous about Express Yourself just because it's already in a tough spot in my voice. It's like right on my break. So I'm really gonna have to like belt the whole thing out. So, fingers crossed. This lighting though, because we have a gorgeous sunset. I'm gonna take you over in just a second. I'm really tired, like really exhausted already. And we haven't even done the shows tonight, so. I'm telling you what though, I'm digging this look. Got my tea, just gotta get some energy. Before I go into the first show, I'm gonna look at the sunset, I'm gonna warm up. The show went really well. Ugh, I was just steaming. I'm gonna keep steaming. Just keep my voice nice and warm. Uh, but it went really, really well. I was really just using my Pure Mist. I wish they were sponsoring this video, but hey, one can dream and put it into the atmosphere. But yeah, it went really well. It was one. It just felt really long because my friend Kirsty sings much more than I do in the show. Even though we're both like in it equally, I'm just dancing more of the show than I usually sing. She sings a lot in the show, so doing that on top of what I do was really tough. But we got through it, the cast really helped me get through it. I just gotta do it again. Just gotta do it again and then I can have a nice big glass of rosé for myself as a treat. I hit all my marks, I got through all the motions, so I'm hoping that the, in the next show I can enjoy it more and actually have fun singing this stuff rather than thinking so hard. Do a little bit more vocal rest, steam a little bit more, and do one more show, let's do this. take this massive hair out. It went well. Let's just have a little bit more fun with it. I totally forgot the words. <laughs> Put one of the songs to the way you make me feel. I think my brain just went, I'm done for the day. I don't even know what words I messed up. But 
luckily I was saying it with Gabe, so he's him and I are good at improv together if we forget something, so. <sighs> I just kind of started talking nonsense, singing nonsense in the song. Sorry, Michael Jackson. I'm just hand washing some of the clothes, some of the costumes that I wore. I don't want her to be like, ew, she didn't wash my costumes after she wore them because I would hope that people would wash my costumes. But the girls that are in my cast, I know that they would, so. So. But yeah guys, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this night, this day. It's been crazy, and this is a very different day in the life of a cruise performer video, so I'm really happy I filmed it. And also, follow my girl Kirstie on Instagram, because she is sick. She is sick, number one, because she's actually ill, and sick, because she's a sick performer. She's beautiful in all ways. She may not have been able to perform tonight, but she was here in spirit, so let's give her a little bit of love on her Instagram as well. So much love, so much sleep. Bye. <laughs> If you didn't get, that was like my, my singer's version of a Wayne's World, like, transition. Uh, so I closed out the video there, but I just wanted to wrap this up right now saying that was my experience swinging. I had a lot of fun. It was exhausting. I kind of wish I'd filmed a couple days after this because I remember being tired because of the mental strain and the adrenaline and just the sheer amount of work that I had to do that night. kind of stuck with me for like three days. Luckily, the next day, it was a full day off for me. Not everybody gets that. And if it was a different night, it would have been a completely different situation. I was in good voice that night. I was healthy as healthy as I could be on cruise ships and I I was able to r really rest up so that it didn't really affect me in terms of my job either later in the cruise or further on down the line but like on a cruise ship there's only so many people that can swing certain things sometimes you don't get lucky in that you just have to swing for one night sometimes people get fired sometimes people get injured sometimes people just want to go home it happens and usually you would hope that your company is going to send someone out an immediate replacement. That's not always the case. Unless it's a type of track that's like almost unreasonable to do that every single time. It's gonna like weaken you to the point that you can't do your other work and your other job. Then you do a different type of reblock. But for the most part, once you get your swing tracks and once you figure it out, that's what you stick with. And if someone's fired or if someone leaves or for whatever reason your other counterpart is not there, like that could be for the rest of your contract. That could be for months. That could be a long time until they send someone else in. So I just want you to know that like swing work on shit it's not like swing work in the professional world. I don't think it's as often that there are as many onstage swings. If so, there's at least a couple backups. There's other options as well. On ships, what you got is what you got. You gotta work with it. It's very DIY, it's very makeshift. I know that there was another time where Kirstie got sick and I needed to cover the same show. Luckily, it was the same show. I didn't have to think. I just kind of had to like go over it in my mind. That particular night, I wasn't in good voice. I was tired. Probably getting over being sick in some capacity. Like, I was exhausted. I smashed it the first time, but I was like, I, I am not gonna smash it tonight. Um, my friend Ree, who you saw in the video, she covered girls just want to have fun. Now I messed up the dance completely. I was a hot mess. I didn't do it well, but Ree smashed it in terms of singing because he was able to just kind of take that on. Someone else stepped up and it was like another DIY makeshift situation. It worked, but in a land-based professional work, I don't know how that would go down, right? Like I don't know if there would be another person, if there would be another option. I don't know like the, the hierarchy and who's the first swing, who's the second swing. That's really interesting to me and I would love to know more about it. I, I hope that you enjoyed this little snapshot of what cruise ship life can be. There's a lot of different things that go into cruise ship work that nobody talks about and swing work is one of them. Before this pandemic, the industry has had so much money. Every single company has so much money, like so much money that maybe if they didn't dump oil into the ocean. I, th I think every cast should have allotted swing members for the tracks that they have. I enjoyed the work, I enjoyed swinging, but it was a lot of work. I got lucky, I was in great voice, I was in great health. I was strong and able. If it had been on my first contract and I had had that, on the itinerary did I have? I don't know if I could have done it. I would love to do it, but figure out the different ways and tools and, and different ways the blocking books work and know kind of the mathematics behind it. Like that's the kind of work I would love to do. And, and if you've worked on cruise ships where you have had swings, please tell me down below because I'd love to know about that. I think companies have enough money to hire someone specifically, maybe to be the boss, maybe to be the manager, maybe to be, I don't know, the, the cast manager who is also the swing. And those are the only performances that they go in for because sometimes it could be months at a time that you're performing or sometimes it could
could be like twice in a contract. You don't know. But enough of my rambling. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Although like I love my space and I love my dog. I love land life. It's times like these where I'm really starting to look back on cruise ship life and see the positive and the cool experiences that I have rather than all the negative things that made me leave and made me retire. So I'm I'm happy to bring this to you and to bring some a, a really cool, empowering, maybe lucky, but still very empowering experience to you. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more theater-based cruise ship lifestyle related content, anything around the life of a performer and living on a budget. Oh, if you want to see a couple more videos that are cruise ship related about day, like specific day in the life of a cruise ship performer, I will put those up here. I'll see you guys in my next one. And also, don't forget to register to vote. Go check down there. I just voted the other day. And um, all lives can't matter until black lives matter. So, bye.